Hello and welcome. Today I have a new game called Game Dev Masters. Now this one is really fun, predicting, and as you can see I've got quite a few different games. We're going to few, uh, clear a few of these. Those are old. That's old. These are since the new update. This one is not because it was in zero difficulty. New ones will have difficulties. So let's start a new game. We call it Funny Studios. Of course, the name is Funny Supple. I didn't like that random one. I like that one. Email the 10th of August. We'll just choose a random year all the way down here at the bottom. Make myself really old. See, simulation course is my favorite. And to pick one of these, you can see the topic and genre trends. A well connected is friends, so you've received 60% off small, 40 off medium, 25 off large, 15 off AAA. It uh, decreases the development costs. Coding veteran, um, permanent boost of 5% to all game sales, people person. Uh, people who work for you do for 50% less pay per month and fan friendly to gain 25% increased fans from game sales. So we are going to go with, let's see, I like coding veteran, people person, fan friendly. This just kind of stresses me out. I do like seeing the extra information, but we're going to go, I think, people person. Why not? And we'll go reality based. So we'll start. Uh, let's see. The top I like the ponytail. Different outfits. That's not bad. Then we're going to let's see, darken the hair a little bit to some brown and lighten the top or not darken the bottoms and darken the shoes a little bit. Next. Now you can go default 570%. You can go master, which is ooh, really high. Or you can go casual. Very cute. So we'll start with default. Contract difficulty going to have low payouts just to increase the difficulty. Very low. Maybe not very low. Sometimes we need that extra help. Game review. Let's go high. New office costs. We'll go normal. Office monthly costs is normal. Subsidiary sales. Engine power scaling. Total tech and design scaling. Engine creation costs. We're going to go easy on ourselves there. Commercial engine chance. We're going to go very low because I hardly ever worry about that anyway. Convention bonuses. We'll go low. I don't know. We'll go high. No. Low is difficult. Very high means yes. Let's just. Hmm. Want to hit milestones and stuff, which means I need some of this stuff. Chance of awards, normal, normal. Game award games. Uh, we'll go Passive stats. We'll go normal. Bankruptcy, normal. Trend impact. we we'll go very low. I don't care. Use loan size. Yeah, I don't really like starting with a loan. But that's okay. It's a. Uh, milestone. Penalty, slider. Yeah, I'm usually pretty good at those. So we're gonna skip the pop-up tutorials because I know how to play it. Well, no, let's just leave mine. Take a look at them. So this is your first office. Before you start making, let's go over a few basics. Two main types of commands, studio and worker. Studio commands are shown on the bar down here. Down here. You can hover over any button to see its function. Let's 
all the work that workers perform, such as making new games, engines, contract work. Also, where you spend office perk points, upgrades of key aspects. Nice. Worker commands, you click on your worker. Black box in the back. It's office control panel. Yes, relevant information. Everything's pretty, I made this. Uh, panel shows your current money and fans. In the current time, there's a progress bar. Bonus tasks. And that's it. So if you wanted to actually read any of those, you can pause because I just skimmed over them. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is train. It's your training menu. You can develop specific statistics. Specialize. No status useless. Level requirement. Financial cost. And a maximum increase cap. Okay. So we're at 100 and 100. Speed 10. Research 100. Crit chance 5. Focus 10, Endurance 10. We're just going to go ahead and do one on Design. We'll do one on Tech as well. Every time you train, you get Research Bubbles. And you need Research Points to research a topic and a genre. So now we're going to train in Tech. My room starts to blue because that's kind of how I had it set in the previous game. It kind of holds over your color choices from game to game, which is nice. So I don't have to try to get it back in here. But just to take a look, you can adjust your power, and adjust how far the blinds are closed, how much they roll. They can be animated. It tells you what song. So we will room color right here is where you can change it and you can preview the changes with the floor changing colors I'll do that okay so let's try a contract work read all that like the bowls every six months you can get new contracts so that is January and June so 21 points in two weeks, but we're going to start out super slow. 13 points in two weeks might be doable. 16 points in four weeks, that sounds good. for completing in time. So now we're going to research engine features, learn topic and genre, deep dives, and character upgrades. Engine features, yes. Genres in green indicate you have it researched. Okay, so let's learn a topic. We already have some. We start with a few. I know since I picked simulation, I'm going to have simulation in my genre. So what works well? Let's go farming. So it's going to cost 10 research points up here, and it's going to cost 5,000. So let's go. Search genre. Let's do idle. It's 14,000, it's 25. We've got some. All 
Alright, let's take another contract because I need 13 points two weeks. That sounds good. I need more research points to do a deep dive. Farming. So idle and children. Twenty-five. I don't have enough. Okay, let's just train another stat. So I'm hundred five on those. Research is four. It's already gained a little bit. Focus has already gained a little bit. Let's just do another couple um, points in design and tech. I think one of the next updates coming up is going to have a fast forward feature. Now as you get more and more upgraded they make bubbles faster and you probably won't need to fast forward as much but like right now for people that are impatient you can fast forward through this part right here. So. Good job. Mm -hmm. Alright, and let's see if we can do that deep dive now. And 25, 18,000. Alright, let's research. And then once we get that done, we'll get all this and we'll get another 25,000 as a bonus for doing all of our bonus tasks. Alright, so let's make a game. Right, you want to have stuff researched. So we're going to go farming. And idle and children platform so let's go ahead and go with that one and the default engine we are going to call this old mcdonald old mcdonald's farm it's a small game so let's go Okay, I know I'm skipping through these real quick. So I've already done this. Love the new tutorial with the arrows. Second priorities and the focus and how much is focused. Okay, you can lock them. Okay, I usually ignore these a lot because when you first start especially, you don't have much time to create many bubbles in the pre-planning so it can throw it way off. So I try to just keep everything balanced. Now with very low, we have to keep it no more than 20%. So we'll just come down to 20% on that one and lock it so it can't move. Then over here, this cannot go less than 30 because it's very high. So that leaves this one at 49.50. Others oh, percentages so sometimes the decimals make the numbers look off a little bit. 
We need 70 points. Our engine power is good. We've only got three points. So let's do this. No slider errors. Yay. And see how we go. Stop making bugs. I trained you, you should be better than this. So we have 79 in the design and 21 in tech. So we need a lot more tech. So we're going to start. The, this is the one that's most tech focused. And it's on low, which means I cannot go more than 30%. So we'll lock that at 30 this is 90% design focused and this is 50 which means 50% of the bubbles goes towards design 50% will go to tech this one is 90% design 10% tech so we want this one as low as possible and for high we cannot go less than 20 so that's how we're going to do it and let's see how that does and there's the invention We can go small, old McDonald's farm, book the event. It does cost some money, but we did get 300 fans and 25% hype, and it shows up right there. Hype is good because it helps with the sales and fans, I believe. And it still had a misspelling in it. Okay, still need lots more tech. This time we have two tech focused and just one on design so let's set these we want more on this one which means this one we'll go ahead and put at 30 that's as low as we can go with a very high this can go wherever in normal we'll just drop this down to where we're only doing 10 percent on design 60 percent on high tech so let's see we're wanting 56 percent tech see how we go. Right here is where it shows you how much we have. Going the wrong way there. Come on. development and we are way under on this you're still way under on this so we're going to delay our launch yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so we want to go on tech we need to get from 20 to 30 that's 10 points, and we know it takes us a while, so we're going to go two weeks and delay the game. So let's see how that does. We got really close. The points are low. So we'll just keep it at five. Let's see how we do. Alright, seven, that's not bad. Seven point nine, that's good. This first one I'm just letting them roll up, but later on I'll use instant reviews. Not bad. Not bad for our first game. We've learned some new research. Alright. So let's see if we can research some engine features. We need 10 RP for this. Cost $5,000.
Let's do it. research. Let's just throw a little bit of training on each stat right now. And then we'll see about making another game. another contract job as well. Get some emails. Alright, first game. Amazing early results. 7.6. Um, it does have failures with this total taken site. Yes, thank you. Okay, we also want to train on speed might as well and now we're at 16 and this cap is 15 which means we'll have to go to this one but that's okay it's always good to increase your speed now another way to increase speed on your workers is to buy better equipment I'll show you how to do that as soon as her slow self gets done there Go to hardware and it will stay with you as you change offices which is good so you can upgrade your monitor right now we have a minus three percent on research training time you can buy of course the best is the best but you can just cut down the time it takes to do things so these don't have a price on them. Oh, because I had to click it. So 15,000, 100,000, 200,000, 50,000. Puts it to the negative nine and increases your speed, research, and training time. They're always nice to buy. I like to go ahead and buy. But we'll just do the one because we don't have that much money. Let's take a look at some contracts. 16 points in five weeks. Sounds good. We can do that. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and book another thing for Old McDonald's. 35,000 isn't bad. Gain more fans and a sales increase. Also adds four weeks to how long it's on sale. Sip my coffee there. This coffee is important. All right, good job. You got us some money. Are there any other contracts we think we can do? 17 points, two weeks. 19 and four is good. 18 and three, we we'll probably do. Let's do the 19 and 4 for now. And if it looks like we've had a full week remaining, we should be able to get the 20 and 3 weeks. Or 19, whatever it was. Short term memory. That's a thing. Any points at all would be good. Hurry up. Make some bowls. There you go. two weeks remaining on that one and we were able to finish it so it does look like we should be able to do 18 points in three weeks let's hope all 
Alright, so I will finish this uh, contract up and end the episode here. It's just the starting basics of a new game. I find it very fun addicting, making new games, upgrading stuff. Um, I might make a few games and do some more research and training on my character, but I will wait to create a new engine in my next episode. So we will see you then. Bye!